significant drop in incidence of farm fires in Punjab as the harvest season winds up. But toxic pollutants are still up in the air in the NCR as Delhi still wakes up to a toxic haze. A new study by the Center for Science and Environment clears the air as to why this is happening. The study claims that of the 11 coal-based thermal power plants around Delhi, majority of them are ignoring anti-pollution measures. As per the study, thermal power plants contribute an estimated 8% of particulate matter in Delhi's air. The CSE report says only two of the 11 thermal power plants in NCR have sulfur dioxide control measures. Only one meets the emission standards. It says three out of the 11 are exceeding the particulate matter norms. Four out of 11, it says, are exceeding the nitrogen oxide emission norms. Meanwhile, five plants out of the 11 have poor status of data reporting in public domain. How many thermal power plants within the vicinity of 300 km are complying with the 2015 thermal power plant norms? And our outcome shows that only two thermal power plants have installed sulfur dioxide control equipment. Our regulators are not doing anything. What they are doing? Only extending the deadline one after another. Pollution experts say that in last couple of days, the incidence of parali burning in Punjab and Haryana have declined significantly. But despite that, the pollution crisis in the entire Delhi NCR region continues. And this is largely because of these lakhs of vehicles which ply in Delhi NCR region every day. In a joint study, IT Kanpur, IT Delhi and Terry have found that between 9th November and 25th November this year, the biggest contributor to pollution in Delhi NCR region was the transport sector. According to data collected jointly by IIT Kanpur, IIT Delhi and Terry, the share of vehicular pollution in the PM 2.5 level was 29% on Monday evening, the highest among all pollution contributors. The rain is uh, widespread, then the pollutants will wash away, otherwise the air quality index will not improve much. There may be marginal improvement by uh, tomorrow on uh, November 28 or 29, to, uh, tomorrow or day after tomorrow, but it will be in a very poor to poor category. Not, uh, it will not be in moderate category until unless there is widespread rain, which we do not expect uh, it to be there. So while the political blame game centering around farm fire has been put out, residents in the national capital region are still choking. With camera person Joseph and Himanshu Shekhar, Bureau Report, NDTV.